Hello everybody and welcome to the video. In this short video, we are going to essentially summarize uh, an amazing article which was posted by One House recently. So here we are going to talk about comparing Apache hoodie more and cow table use cases. By the way, I do have a video where I described about what is cow and what is more right in detail. I'll leave the links in the description if you want to watch uh, more about that. Many data lake technologies have revolutionized big data analytics by leveraging copy on write, storage table format. Apache Hodi is pioneered on merge on read for cases where cow may not be optimal. Hodi was created at Uber in 2015. Uber relied on Apache spot jobs to periodically write dataset in Apache HDFS and to absorb upstream table insert, update, deletes when a rider trip status has changed. As Uber grew, the process of writing data became too inefficient and slow. So Hoodie was born to provide a faster, computationally efficient analytics at exabyte scale. Copy on write. Copy on write was the first storage available upon Hoodie's creation compared to the old architecture with Apache uh, Spark. Uber saw over a hundred times more efficient write. Again, I'm going to try to take a pencil here. So in copy of write, what happens is basically whenever you have all your updates, right, your updates are coming in, right? And uh, basically what it's going to do is basically going to create a different, different version, right? So you will have different versions of parquet files, right? So let's say uh, this is your base file, right? And an update happened, right? So Hodi will essentially create a whole new parquet file. Now this is your new uh, version, right? So that's basically copy on write, right? Uh, in, in a nutshell, right? Again, not going too too much detail. As big data analytics community started embracing data lake technologies, the requirement expanded from purely batch processing to include stream processing, which works best with minute level latency. Now, as you know, right in copy of copy on write, right? And the merge happens on the right time, right? So. Cow essentially, uh, so let's read this. Cow rewrites the entire file for even a single modified record. That d definitely makes sense because cow is meant for more read oriented uh, use cases, up and only, right? Um, again, we'll read more about this. In cases of streaming data with cow, more table updates meant more file versions and increased file count. This led to inefficient writes with less fresh data. I do want to let you know that you can do an also an async compaction, which means you're going to keep the latest version and you can prune the older version. Again, depending upon the use case, you may decide to choose the appropriate um, either cow or more. More. Merge on read was the second storage table type created for hoodie to reduce the write amplification in cow tables with heavy updates. Rather than rewriting the entire file, more writes update to a separate change log files. Then these change logs are merged into a new file version at a later time configured by the user. So in a nutshell, what happens is let's say this is your base file, right? Let's say update one, update two, update three came, right? They are all going to be in a change log file. Now, depending upon what you say, for example, let's say you want to do the merge operation after let's like, say 10 commits, right? So the user will define and after that it essentially creates that. So again, it's more better if you have heavy, you know, again, the author clearly describes that, right? So again, we're going to read this line again, rather than rewriting the entire file, more read, uh, more writes the update to a separate change log. Then these chain logs are merged into a new file version at a later time configured by the user. Grouping these smaller change log files together, avoid rewriting the entire file multiple times. Now here is a small, um, you know, uh, uh, a slide which shows, uh, uh, you know, comparison of cow and mod. Cow is basically great for fast query performance read, right? If your application is more read oriented, I think that's the best way. Less efficient than more tables. For, uh, again, if you have a lot of updates, you might want to go for a more and not a cow. Uber, Uber uses cow to store up and only data, never um, updated again. These are like event logs which track user interaction on an Uber app. Example, when a user taps on a button, query performance, uh, you, you know. So again, all the user interaction like click stream and all that stuff is again, uh, for, for those use cases, the author says the cow was used uh, at Uber. More, 
Uh, great for frequent table updates. Again, if you have a lot of updates coming in, I think that's a great uh, place. Slower query performance, uh, read then cow before compaction, but the same speed after compaction. Again, you have to do a compaction, right? That definitely makes sense. More is optimized for frequent table updates. This storage avoids unnecessary rewrites to the data file, which reduces and enables low latency write. So depending upon the use case, whether uh, you, you, your application need low latency, right? You can go for a more. If not, uh, then you can go for a cow tables. Uh, an amazing uh, chart that shows the difference between a cow and more. So the write cost is higher in cow tables while it is lower in more tables. The write latency is higher in the cow tables, but it's lower in the more tables. Query speed is very fast in cow tables, may be slower, but you have to do a compaction there, right? Uh, same again, uh, overall cost, potentially higher cost, right? Uh, for the more, it's same speed after compaction optimized. Again, these are the, some of the stats at Uber. They had about 10,000 tables, 500 a billion records per day, 100, 150 plus petabyte of transactional data lake. Again, amazing stats here. Uber uses hoodie cow tables for append only data like event stream, which tracks user interaction in the Uber app. This data is append only because Uber tracks historical log of a user interaction in the app, which would not change, uh, you know, which would not change. Append only data has no expensive table updates. Uh, in Uber use case, the storage type met the data and query latency requirement. For example, this was used to power their uh, maybe, uh, you know, uh, dashboards right analytics dashboard for the for them again this is a great article and if you would like to read further i i would strongly encourage the here is an actual source uh, they have also given a use case of shopee right uh, they have about uh, 343 uh, 343 million monthly uh, visitors and how they use the more tables again a very nice article which uh, in a nutshell talks about cow and more thank you so much for watching hope you have enjoyed the concept of cow and more